Hey there, this video is brought to you by Hobby Lobby. Well, we need some ideas for decorating for fall. It is time to get it going on. And we're gonna use pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. I had so much fun making both of these projects and you will too. They're so simple and Hobby Lobby makes it easy with all the fabulous products that you can get. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna use two pumpkin wreath frames from Hobby Lobby. Now these are really nice wreath frames. They're very sturdy and they're gonna stay together. So I would highly recommend that you try the, these pumpkin frames from Hobby Lobby. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start this off by putting them together and it's gonna be a 3D look. So I'm just gonna take a zip tie and we're gonna start it off down here at the bottom and we're gonna use some glue here too, but the zip tie is gonna help us get started, all right? And don't worry, you're not gonna be able to see the zip tie once it's on, okay? Let's do one at the top. We just need to have it pretty close together, okay? So make sure the stems, these, this part right here, is pretty connected. Again, we won't see these. Okay, that looks pretty good, guys. I think it's as close as we're gonna get, all right? So you could add, let's add one here and one here, and then we'll get started on what how we're going to um, disguise those zip ties. Okay, so we have it all connected in four spots, so it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna take this fall, it's in the fall ribbon, and it's just twine, but you can also find this in the his and her section of the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. So you're just gonna start it. It doesn't really matter where you start it. I'm just gonna tie a little bit of knot here, just double knot it, all right? So we got that started. And you're simply, I'm gonna just kind of do it like this. We are just gonna keep going around. This is gonna be a little tedious, so I will just show you how we're gonna do it and then, um, boom, I'll be done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what I am going to do is I'm not going to worry about this much down here as much because it's not really going to show. Okay. Cause we're going to have stuff there, but what I'm going to focus on is going up here. And then once we get up here, we're going to go up here through the frame and I'm going to do this part too. So we're going to outline this this and all the way down to here all right so that's pretty much there it's not really difficult you're just going to do this over and over and over so this is probably the most tedious part but it will be the most rewarding it'll look so nice when it's all done and if you run out just make another knot like i just showed you and keep going okay see we're done and one of the things i did and it's not perfect but that's okay I took off the zip ties when I got to that part because I didn't need them anymore. So the only zip tie that's still on this is the one at the bottom, but honestly, you could probably take it off and it would be just fine. So let's put this together. Now, I saw this little cute, adorable pedestal in the fall. It's the Robert Stanley collection and it is so stinking cute. I'm gonna take off a little thing that you can see there. Um, we are going to use this as the base because when you put this here, it's gonna, it's not gonna sit right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we are going to kind of like find the middle, all right? And we're gonna do a couple of things, all right? I'm gonna take, I have one of these, um, I'm gonna put it in here because I think I can get it in here. I have one of these electric staple guns, okay? So we're gonna see if we can handle this. All right, be very careful if you use a staple gun, okay? All right, there we go. It went in just fine. Let me make sure that I'm getting nice. All right, so this is gonna help us. And then we're gonna add some glue. So let's just do one more. All right, it's still not steady, but we're gonna help make it steady. All right. So I'm gonna like put it right there and then I'm gonna take my glue gun and we are gonna go to town, all right? And you're just gonna put some glue there. Again, you're not gonna see this part and then we're gonna let this set up. 
So I'm gonna put enough glue that this isn't gonna go anywhere, and then we're gonna let this dry. Okay, so that's the way it looks. I think that looks super cute. I think I could have maybe censored it just a little bit better, but that's okay. Again, we are not striving for perfection in Julie's Wreath Boutique. So I'm gonna take, what I would recommend next is you get a pack of this dry foam and it's a six, six pack value and it's so much cheaper to purchase this. This will last you for so many projects, guys, so many. So I would definitely recommend this. They do sell them um, just one brick, but you'll save so much more money and get so much more if you purchase the six pack. So what I'm gonna do is I have one already that I've, again, gotten the six pack and we're gonna use this, but I want to be able to put it in here, okay? And then I have this little candle. Can you see the little flame? And what I liked about this candle, you can get this at Hobby Lobby too. It has a timer on it. So whenever I turn the timer on it, and usually I will do it like in the evening time, but if you put it on the timer mode, it will stay on for five hours. I love candles like this. It requires three AAA batteries. My little boy went and got me some, so we're good to go. But I don't want to make the candle sit that far up. So I'm going to cut this a little bit. Let me kind of give you a side view here. Hold on. You see how far that is up? I'm going to like cut it down just a little bit. And when I say cut, it's this that I'm going to cut down. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm just going to trim off about, let's say here, we're just going to trim off about a half an inch. And I'm going to cut that and I'll be right back and then we'll put it in our frame. Okay, so as you can see, I took off a little end of the part here as well. So I'm gonna take the part that I um, cut, that's gonna be facing down because I want a pretty good surface for it all to set. So I'm gonna look at this. It's definitely not the center. So this is about, um, about right. I think I'm gonna add, take off just a little bit more. I don't really want it wider than my little pedestal. I'm gonna just take that just a little bit more. Sorry. <laughs> that was a little loud. Okay, so that looks good. So we're gonna take our glue gun. Again, you can get these at Hobby Lobby as well. And we're just gonna do a bunch of glue on the bottom here. And then we're gonna let this set up as well, okay? And I'm gonna even press this down and let that set and we're gonna let that set up okay so now that we have our foam in place I'm gonna take my little candle here and I'm just gonna place it in the middle here because I want to make sure that there's enough spots here for it to sit and I'm gonna like I'm gonna make a little indention so that it can sit in okay see so I've got the spot where it's gonna sit in. We're not gonna glue this down or anything like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting some greenery in and start filling this up and make a beautiful centerpiece. I have my Surebonder glue skillet or glue pot or whatever you wanna call it. And what I'm gonna do is I got some of these fall eucalyptus with little um, uh, pine cones and I just thought they were really pretty. So I'm gonna cut these down just a little bit because I don't feel like we're gonna need quite that long of a stick here or pick is probably the more appropriate word. So we're just gonna cut a few of these down. And what's really cool about this glue skillet is that you're just going to dip it in with that glue and we're just gonna find spots that we want to put this in, okay? And basically what you wanna do is we want to make sure that the bottom is all full and we want basically everything kind of coming out of the pumpkin frames. I'm going to go in at the side here. Okay. I'm going to cut this one down a little bit more. Actually, let's cut this like so. Oops. Okay, so we've got three on each side. Then I'm gonna take some of these leaves, but listen, 
Hobby Lobby has so many things to choose from. You don't have to choose my colors. There's so many different options. If you love pink and burgundies, they have beautiful pink and burgundy um, pumpkins. And there's so many things that you can choose. So at this point, I'm going to go in at the side here. And so you're just going to fill some of the leaves in on this side and that side. All right, so just keep adding. We're going to add probably two of these on each side, and then we'll come back to the next step. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm gonna put it down like this so you can see it a little bit better. But I think this is gonna be so beautiful when it's all done and said. I'm gonna take my candle, we're gonna put it right in there. We're not gonna glue that down because eventually you're gonna to have to change the battery. So we're not going to mess with that, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I got these little pumpkins. You can get a box of these and we are gonna use this in our arrangement. One of the things I liked was the little succulents and I just loved the, the colors in this one. But listen, Hobby Lobby has so many different options for you. Isn't that one really cute? I just love the looks of that one. And we're gonna add these to our arrangement and this is gonna be so perfect. And I love this one too. What we can do is we can just cut this. Let me show you where we're gonna cut it. So that we can have two pieces, we're gonna cut it right there. And now we have two pieces. All right. Will I use all these pumpkins? Probably not. That's okay. We don't need to use them all. One of the things I'm going to do, you can grab in the floral section, are these little, um, I think they're like floral picks. I, I lost the top, but I know I got these at Hobby Lobby. And I really don't need the top part where the wire is. That's not really important. So you can just like clip those off if you want. But what we're going to do is we are going to make these and make them a pick. So I'm going to just kind of dip it in my little glue pot over here off to the side. And then literally, because these are foam, you can just stick it in and let that dry. But this will be perfect to add into our... Um, arrangement without having to like glue it down and then that way you can change out your colors if you want to do something different next season when Hobby Lobby brings out everything next season. So we're just going to pull these and use these like this. Okay so now is the fun part. We're going to add all of these little pieces that go in and fill this all up. All right, so after you put everything in, I'm gonna give you a, a little snapshot of this on my table and to see how it looks so beautiful and everything and it's in the right perspective. <laughs> but I'm not gonna glue these in. I'm gonna add them down where we have a little bit of gaps. As you can kind of see down there, you can see a little bit of the foam. So just take a few and then you can just simply take those out when you need to take this out, because this will still come out easily, turn on the timer, I have it set, and so for five hours, it will be on. But I think that turned out beautifully, and it doesn't take a floral degree to make this. And I love the fact you can get everything at Hobby Lobby. All right, as I promised, a final look at our centerpiece. I think it turned out so beautifully. It just is perfect for fall. It's perfect for Thanksgiving. And this little pedestal that we put it on, I just think really adds kind of a higher end touch to it. Now, if you love this project, you're gonna love the next one that we do with these little pumpkins because it's the easiest project ever. Okay, so the next wreath is really simple. We're gonna take that 16 inch wreath form that I found back in the wood section, back in the back of the store. And guess what? These do go on sale. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And all I want you to do is take, I'm gonna cut, let's see, three of these bags. They are $6.99, but they are on sale. So make sure you grab advantage of the sale right now. And I'm gonna cut them in half almost in half. We're going to leave the stem on and then we're going to glue it around this frame. So I'm going to do this and we're going to speed it up, but it's so easy to do that anybody can do it. So 
we got to the end of the wreath and we have a space. And what we could do is we could use, we could go off pattern. You could definitely do that. But I'm not going to do that because I want to keep it the same as the pattern that I used here, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the little pieces that we used um, and disregarded. And I'm going to just kind of put it in the middle of this. And we're not going to show this because we're going to put a little bow on this. All right. And I'm just going to like, like stuff it in there. All right. And it's just going to be for the purposes of bringing our bow off of the frame a little bit okay so once you do this know that you only need two of those bags of um pumpkins so this is a really economical wreath i'm going to use this ribbon this is actually in the regular ribbon section but because it has that navy blue and i really like it with this we're just going to go with this um i'm going to just do a very simple 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 bow we're going to start off, just have about a 10 inch length for your tail, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to go eight inches. So we're gonna take eight inches, eight inches from here to here, and I'm gonna bring it together. And I feel like that is gonna be a big enough bow. We don't need a huge bow for this. All right, again, you're gonna just hold this with your fingers and you're going to measure using that same mat that you can get at Hobby Lobby. They have other brands too, if you wanna use that. And you're gonna come back another eight inches. So our loops are the same. So let's do another eight inches. Make it a bow does not have to be hard. We come back here and make one more. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna come back to the center and that's gonna be good enough. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna bring this a little bit down. I'm going to grab a piece of wire that I have. Okay, we're gonna bring it and we're just going to bring it over the top, all right? And then we're gonna twist it just like that. Then I want you to cut the rest of your ribbon tail, all right? Easy peasy, okay? And you can just kind of pull. If, if some of your ribbons don't look like, you know, it looks like they're a little bit long like this one, all I'm gonna do is pull on this tail a little bit because that one looks a little bit longer. We're not striving for perfection, which is something really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna just do that. So we have this. See how pretty that's gonna be? So we're gonna make a little loop for the middle of that. I'm just gonna take this cut a piece off and we're just gonna cut off the wire part. It's just easier for it to hold on. You've seen me do this before. And we're just going to grab it like that. And I'm gonna go over the middle. See how pretty that is? Yep, so pretty. Let's make sure our wire is on both sides. And I'm just gonna tie it real quick here. really quick and then you're just going to get rid of the excess here that we don't need. All right, let's look at the front. And we are gonna actually glue this together. We really don't need, I will. You can glue it, you can, you can use a wire. It's really up to you, okay? Turn my ribbon. So we're going to, I'll just take the wire on this side and on this side, and then that way, I'm gonna just twist it, put them right back in to that little foam, all right? Okay, I think this is super cute. You're just gonna take your tails, make sure you get all the little foam pieces out. I'm gonna take them, I'm going to bend them like so, and make a little nice pretty dovetail in it and if you want you can glue this a little bit just to make sure that it stays in the place that you want it to be now i'm going to have my tails coming down you can turn it around you could have it go like this this is what it would look like you just want to make sure that you hide that wire so let's see so tell me do you like the the bow the top or the bottom I don't know, maybe I do like at the top. I don't know guys, you're gonna have to let me know what you think. A big thanks to Hobby Lobby once again for sponsoring another video here on Julie's Wreath Boutique. And if you made it, 
through this whole video, I always ask for a special emoji in the comments, and I want you to leave me your favorite happy face emoji. And let me know, are you gonna make both projects or one? But either way, you're ready to decorate for fall. We'll see you next Sunday night on Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye-bye.